All right, so this is the spot here. A little look from the front view. I just realized I'm right down the street from a little police station. Uh, I did see that police car there the other day, and now there's two of them parked there, so that must be their little station. Um, but yeah, still no issues. Like I said, I checked the signs real good. There was no sign saying no parking overnight or anything. So yeah, it worked out really good. Saved myself 20 bucks. I was still able to yesterday hang out at that state park, but, uh, not have to pay for the camping by coming over here. So just a little way that I save money while I'm on the road. Uh, I try to really not pay for camping or lodging and that allows me to get out there and see more places. So like I said, I'm gonna head over to this McDonald's, get uh, use the bathroom, get cleaned up a little bit, and then uh, just hang out, maybe get a cup of coffee, and then go to the DMV right when they open at 8 a.m., take care of my business, and head over to the uh, boondocking spot by the lake. All right, here we go. All right, so I just looked it up. It's uh, not like a DMV like I'm used to from San in San Diego. It's actually uh, a county governor office which I just passed, so I'm gonna go in there and check that out. I remember when I stayed in Maine for a summer, I actually registered a van there and it was the same deal. It was like this little town office. It was almost like someone's house in Maine. All right, yeah, I think it's right ahead up here. This is Madison work traffic. Okay, I'm looking for 200. I believe it's this big building right here. I can open at 8 and it's not quite 8 yet. I'll just park right in front here. <coughs> oh, and there's the library. I need to stop there also. All right, so I just pulled up here at this county governor office, this big building here. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. There it is. I know my windshield's really dirty. Uh, so that's where you do your registration and license stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do my license because I don't have my birth certificate. I'm gonna try to contact my parents, see if they can dig that out of my storage bin at their house and send it to my mail forwarding address. That's way it's up here and available to me. I could have it mailed to me somewhere. Uh, I, because of my address, I do have to do my registration here in Madison, but to do my license, I can do that anywhere in South Dakota. So I'll probably do that at a different location, have my birth certificate forwarded to me through my mail forwarding service. So that's the plan here this morning. They open in a few minutes and then the library right behind me across the street, they open at 10 a.m. I need to go in there and use their internet. Uh, I have to do, uh, so basically to kind of, um, put back to my YouTube channel after reaching 10,000 subscribers. I invested in some more gear. I've kind of gradually done that over the last year and a half. The money that I make from the ads on my YouTube usually just gets put right back into the channel by a buying camera gear. I had to buy a laptop last year. So uh, little things like that. And for crossing the 10,000 subscriber mark, uh, I invested in a drone. So now I'll be able to get aerial footage, but I need to update all the firmware on that drone, which takes a solid internet connection. So I'm gonna see if I can actually bring the drone into the library, hook it up to the app and update it. It takes like a half hour of being connected to the internet. So that's my plan for this morning. And then I'm gonna head out about an hour from here. There is a boondocking spot, free camp spot next to a lake. And I'm hoping to test out and uh, try my drone out for the first time there. Get a shot of where I'm camped. So that's the plan. It's uh, just about eight o'clock. So I'm gonna go up, see if this place is open. All right, so that was so easy. That took about 10 minutes total I got here. So there was no line or anything. Uh, the woman that helped me was extremely pleasant. They, you know, she totally knew the name of the woman at the uh, mail forwarding place. Uh, they have a relationship. They do this so often. I mean, there are literally thousands and thousands of people that are full-time RVers that use South Dakota um, as their uh, resident. So uh, basically because I don't have a South Dakota license, there's this affidavit that you have to sign, which kind of states and is this little disclaimer of, you know, that I'm actually registering my vehicle here, but not a resident. But when I do get my license, I'll officially be a resident. So they actually gave me my plates 
It's got uh, Mount Rushmore on there. I'm blocking out the end numbers there, but I'll be able to put my plates on. I'm good till August of next year, and then I can renew my registration. I got my registration card too. I can renew my registration online, super simple. And as soon as I get my birth certificate sent to me, I can do my license in anywhere in South Dakota. I'm gonna get that as soon as possible, and I'll officially be a South Dakota resident. Uh, just so much easier than California, having to deal with the smog check there and, um, here there's no state tax, so when I do renew my registration, it's much, much cheaper. Just a lot of benefits all around. Uh, having the mail forwarding service is gonna come in really handy, so I'm super excited. This is just like, wow. Um, just officially like on the road like this has just been an amazing experience. So anyway, I got some time to kill before the library opens. I need to uh, update the firmware in my drone. Uh, I'm going to check. I may be able to pick up their Wi-Fi from outside. If I can, I'll just do that. But uh, yeah, then we'll be back on the road again. Okay, so I just passed by the resort. I mean, it's called a resort. It's just a real small, uh, small place right on the lake. It looks like a fairly small lake too. So uh, I'm gonna go and pass the resort a little bit. I brought up freecampsites.net again and uh, using the GPS coordinates to get to where supposedly free camping is. It's taking me down this gravel road which is a good sign for me. Yeah, this is it, like right here. Yeah, it looks like you just pull off anywhere here. Oh, this is beautiful. There's a vault toilet off to the left here, which is good. Don't see any trash cans, but the resort is pretty close. Oh yeah, these are nice little just pull off primitive spots. Awesome! Yeah! Oh, I feel like I'm coming home. Oh, look at this one. I could face right at the water. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for a free campsite. Look at, I am right on the water. I might try to angle the van a little bit to level out, but I'm actually pretty good. I like to be a little bit down and towards that side because I sleep with my head on this side. So I may move it around a little bit, but I am right here by the water. It's supposed to be like 76 degrees today. There's a nice breeze. This is perfect. Oh my gosh, I feel so good right now. Yes.